Hello, hello, and welcome to our first race here on We Love Cars Racing. I know that I had promised a race on Aceto Corsa Competizione, but I lost that footage, and I needed to re-race to get a race from there. But on top of that, I was able to get this first race in Automobilista too. And let's see what's about to happen. My God, I, I was fifth on the qualifying. And as you can see, not that great on the start. But let's see what I can do, right? Uh, the strength, my opponent's strength was not, uh, no, 100, 105 on that one, on that race. And the uh, aggression was 80, because I saw many YouTubers racing here on uh, Automobilista 2 on that setup. And I just lost another position. Uh, with this configuration, but I noticed that for me was a little too much. Mm -hmm. One thing that I noticed is that uh, even the aggression being on 80, they kind of give you space, as you could see on the previous turn. And this is great, right? At least you don't spin. And about to lose another position. No, I was able to to resist bravely. Probably for some seconds because man oh man this race was very very tough. You know one thing that uh, uh, I noticed and it's just a comment from my side Okay, please don't shoot the messenger. But, uh, uh, here is 105, aggression 80. I'm not that bad to race, but the guys were like, he's strong as heck. It was very difficult for me to do anything there. So, I don't know, uh, I see YouTubers that it, at least they say, because they never show anything, but they say, oh, I put a opponent to strength in 110, 115, and they start the racing last, and they beat everybody, or they are very, very well very good at racing and I I'm pretty much really bad at it or it's not 110 115 right I don't know just saying but as you can see it, it is very very difficult to do anything here uh, I, I remember that for this next turn there I, I knew that I was stronger than my opponents I was a little brave on the brakes and better on the exit of that turn there but let's see what happens and I believe that this is pretty much that until to the end of the race After this experience here, I, I got a, a racing coach that is teaching me how to set up the car and teaching me what I have to do in, in the track to, to get better results. And you, oh, did you see? Did you see? I got a pass. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, sometimes. Lucky counts. I don't know what happened, but 
And now I closed because I closed the door because I knew that the guy the guy was stronger. And I lost again. But this time I was inside the turn. So inside the turn that I was better than that opponent. Yeah, but like I was saying, now I'm learning how I have to position my car in every single turn on the track. Uh, uh, tail braking. Uh, how to brake properly, at least in Assetto Corsa, because he works with Assetto Corsa Competizione. So, but you guys are going to have that. From now on, I'm going to have a lot of trouble with this guy behind me. Because he's faster than me in any other turn but that one. But, like I said, I'm not trying to justify or use an excuse, okay? Uh, my car wasn't set set up and I made a really bad mistake and I lost another position about to lose two more <coughs> but I didn't lose it Now I needed to work hard to see if I can get that position back. Because it's very sad for you to end up a racing behind the new started, right? It happens, it happens. But it's not that great. And if you see my head spinning too much there, it's because I'm using virtual reality headset, okay? That is another thing that helps a lot in a race. If I tell you that I was improving on that turn, there is a lie. I had to protect my turn badly there because my exit was poor 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 my mind was I need to get forward I need to get forward I need to get forward close to the guy that is in front of me but my eyes were showing me, you need to get faster, otherwise you're going to lose this position here. See, this is lap 8 out of 10. And I'm 5th. Oh boy. And as you can see, no chance at all to get closer to the guy in front of me, right? I need to do my best to hold the guy that is behind me. And like I said, I'm going to say again, this was the race that makes me to realize that I had to get a racing coach because racing without a setup and with without studying the track uh, uh, is not a good idea see it looks like that I'm getting closer to the guys in front of me and getting some distance from the guy behind which made me a little happy 
just a little happy right there. But I was losing a lot of time on that uh, on that turn there. Last lap of the race. I was able to get really close to the guy in front of me, but last lap, I have less than half uh, lap to uh, try anything here. And with the guys on 105 strength, don't know. I tried a dive bomb there. And can you believe... I, I didn't touch the guy, okay? I did not touch the guy. But can you believe that I got that position? Uh-huh. Can I hold until to the end? Let's see. I closed the door. I have to be honest with you. And I finished in fourth. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this first video for We Love Cars Racing series. And I promise to be back with a lot of more videos to you, okay? So I hope to see you back on the next video. Have a wonderful one like we say here in the United States and bye